Dear Watcher, my name is Marcel Brunner. I'm working for EMC as a V-Specialist. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate the file management appliance into a productive environment. This is the second tutorial of a series of five. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure Celera for using FMA. First off, let's tweak the xlt.config file. FMA VE expects that all file names are derived from the Celera network server in the UTF-8 format. This tweak helps to preserve file names correctly. All you have to do is to simply add the IP address of your FMA into that XLT file and add a little comment. After you're done manipulating the xlt.cfg file as shown, then load the revised xlt.cfg file. After that, verify that the settings are correct. This is done by looking at the comment that you just entered. The command that you entered should be shown. Switch to super user, log in as root with password NAS admin and add a new user with the name RFFM give it a user ID a group ID and put in a new password then exit out of root back to NAS admin again next step is to configure the data mover server underscore 2 on your Celera for granting both access for the FMA and its IP address with the user RFFM to log on to the DHSM facility which is responsible for file management on a Solera. After that, start the FMA service and check that it says active equals true. When you're done with that, you gotta choose your primary file system this is best done when you list all your file system and choose the appropriate one. All you have to do here is to enable that primary file system. Then check whether the offline attribute is set to 1. Now logging into the Celero Manager GUI as a user root with the password NAS admin. Scroll down on the tree, the security administrator and create a new user. That user needs to have the exact same username than the one with that we created with the CLI or FFM in my case with the exact same password as the CLI user. As a primary group choose root, as a group membership role choose root as well and client access go for XML API. Verify that the settings are correct and the user is shown. This concludes the second part of the video tutorial for FMA. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.